Wait, what's constipated mean? Oh, you fucker. It <laughs> <laughs> means that you can't shit. Remember we'd box in the freaking garage? Oh, the garage. And my dad, remember the last oh, time. he came in. Like, it was yelling, like, like, we're not running a fucking a boxing fucking ring. ring. We need to go to bed. I was like, okay, yeah. And we all just, th- so they're like. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he was right. It was like 11.45 at night. It was like almost 12 midnight. Yeah. And we were just screaming, boxing. Yeah, it was, that was so much fun. That group. It was me, Dustin, you. Who else was it? Macy. I, Macy. Yeah. Yeah, Macy. Uh, I think that was it. That no, would do was, that in the there garage. There was somebody that came over on, oh, like, almost every single time. It was that kid across the street. Um, He was younger. Remember he was the one spraying us with the water hose? When we were shooting, it was in one of the vlogs. The vlogs. Oh my god. Oh. The vl- You were in the vlogs. Yes. Wow. As the. Uh, I think like two of them. Yeah. Two of them, I think. Two or three, maybe. I'll probably I'll throw them up. Uh, yeah. I. Um, it was Piper. She smelled the. Oh, Piper. Devil's lettuce on you, my friend. Oh yeah. Mm, you can't explain that. I still do it. Well, I mean, yeah, it was... I don't even think... Were you... Were you high that night? Remember that time we were making jokes about you? You were like, oh, he's no, high. No, I was high. never high. That's why I, I was, was like... High that time. I had so many people. Because I remember zooming in. I put the, the little joint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, people were like, oh, was he really high? Because back then it was like... Like... Whoa. Yeah. Because how old were you back then? This was 16? like four years ago. No. 21 right now. Was it four years ago? It was four years ago. Four and a half. 2017? 20... 20... Yeah, 2019. Because it was before... Yeah. Yeah. 17. Uh-huh. I gotta fucking count it. Yeah. Fucking... Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Is that... Be lucky, or consider yourself lucky, because... What did you just count to? Uh, four? You were how old last time you were at high school? When you were in high school, it was how many years ago? Yeah, well, for me, it was like seven, eight. Okay, so I'm getting up there. And it's kind of nerve-wracking for me. Um, you almost getting in your 30s? No. How old are you? 24. 24? God, don't you say still, that. You still have a long time. Oh, my time. God. What are you talking don't about? Don't even bring him the three into it. Man, you're too sexy. What are you talking Dude, about? thank you. Do you like the shirt? What's that? Dolly Parton? Is that the singer? Yeah. I think uh, is this your country music singer, big mm-hmm. boobies. Typical. I mean, yeah. Fake ones. Yeah. Of I mean, I, I don't think she's come out and admitted that, but yeah. Um. Okay. So, thank you. I. Um, yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bust out the white. The white Bass Pro today. I'm dressing up for my man Jesus. That's right. Oh yeah. Welcome. We've been going, thank by you. the way. Thank you. Thank uh, you. I told you you forget. Are you still? I actually forgot. Yeah. Yeah. And see, boom. Um, a little bit. Yeah, uh, during that Logan Paul, Jake Paul, we all thought we were fighters. We would uh, come over, box. Mm-hmm. Me and you would box, and it was like you went, you, you, you went hard on me. <laughs> Cause that 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 the the lady, the the woman that was there, uh-huh. the one that was Julianne. Yeah. Yes, she whispered. I don't know if it was her or somebody else uh-huh. that whispered in your ear, and you're like. Oh, I will know what will get you mad. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I can't go all, I can't go all, all out on you. Yeah. And then she whispered something on you, whispered to you. Uh huh. And then you're like, ah, all right, bet. What? Oh, yeah. And I did it. Yeah. What? Mm-hmm. I always remember. Uh, what? Well, I, I mean, I'm sorry. Hey, if I, I took didn't. them heads though. Yeah, I you did. Yeah, dude, you got a chin on you. And we got good. That's the thing is that for like two and a half weeks, mm-hmm. we got pretty good at boxing. We did. I started to get a little cocky walking around Denton. Oh, I was like, who the fuck you think you're talking to? Yeah, I got my card ready. Thank you, sir. Hit you with that overhand right. Hey, Jesus but Christ. Your punches fucking, they hurt, man. They hurt. I'm sorry about that. Hey. I apologize. Because I was, well, okay, four years ago, I was like 19. Yeah, uh, I mean, so we were, were just still stupid. Yeah. We were still young. We were it was fun. Yeah, I kind of, you know, for workout purposes, I kind of just want to get a bag and just have it around, just so I can go out and fucking hit it. it. Yeah, yeah. Just get, get some anger out, something like that. Yeah, because listen, 
there's there's football shape, there's track shape, and then there's mm-hmm. boxing shape. Boxing shape, that's different. It is. Like, you're, because you're constantly, you're like, how long has it been? 20 seconds? Mm-hmm. And I'm already gassed. And they usually do the planks, don't they? Yeah. They mostly do the planks? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, it's, yeah, I definitely, because you're like, especially with USC, because you watch it and you're like, it's so much fun, they're throwing kicks, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, mm-hmm. for five minutes, that guy is trying to kill you. Yeah. And you're trying not to die, pretty much. And not get your bones broken or anything yeah. like that. Or get, like, your teeth knocked out. And, and it goes all with ego, too. Yeah. The ego that you don't want to back down. Yeah. You're like, nah, fuck this shit. Yeah. But that's what makes it fun. That's True. what makes people watch. Mm-hmm. Would you ever, uh, would you ever cage fight? Like, if you were, like, say you just kind of started going to a gym, like, mm-hmm. you just wanted to work out, you know, then you got to roll in, you got kind of into it do you think you'd ever be like hey let me fight some fucking guy do you think you have that because listen you're talking about me hitting you can crack too it depends it depends how much money though yeah that's to true. me to me i'm pretty sure it, it, it ain't it, it's not gonna be about like me wanting to fight mm-hmm. or finding another person mm-hmm. it'll probably be more about the money yeah if it's worth it i'll be like all right fuck it mm-hmm. so what would you <sighs> If you had the chance, and then you were really good about it, you were really good at it, Uh huh. would you do it? Here's the thing. Is that, like... Like, you like you got some you got some fights under your belt. Street fights. Mm-hmm. But then, you started going to, you know, boxing, mm-hmm. or whatever you want to do with Muay Thai, or, you know, mm-hmm. anything like that. You start getting good at it. Mm-hmm. You fight somebody, you start, you know, you win. You keep on going. You win. You win. You got three three wins, and then you got more mm-hmm. in street. Would you? I. Yeah. You I think would. it would? Yeah. I I think it would be. Here's the thing. I would have to learn how to wrestle because if a guy who knows how to True. wrestle gets his hands on you, once once you're down, you're done. Yeah, you're. It's like you know a fucking praying mantis with its prey like you're just pretty much done and i've never i've boxed before i've boxed you like i've boxed before like but i fought like we trained like i said we went hard like i don't think people understand for two weeks it's all we would do is hit those fucking pads with the black and the big red boxing gloves. like 20 pounds yeah 20 pound gloves i think yeah 20 pounds yeah and we had the wrist weights too yeah. and we fucking did it um but then, like, whenever I was younger, too, but I've never wrestled. So, if... <sighs> but here's the thing. I'm 24, just starting, right? There's kids that start at, like, four Early, years four old, years just start old, hitting seven. back. Like, it's in them. Like, the bread, mm-hmm. like Tommy Fury, you know? So, it's like, do I want to get in there with somebody who knows where my punch is going to be before I even throw it? Like, mm-hmm. does that make sense? Pretty much like yeah. Future Sight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of terrifying, but then it's like, well, if I'm good, and you start to increase, it's like you can you can see their kind of moves or where they're gonna hit, yeah, you know, their position. Yeah. So I guess if if the money, I I would probably fight for. I'd get in the cage with somebody for a thousand bucks. Shit. <laughs> to fight, yeah, like with like if I got to train and do it, I'd do a thousand bucks. I mean, if it's a thousand bucks and you don't have no experience, uh-huh. shit, I'll, I'll probably do it. Just throwing you out there? Just probably. Just get some anger out. I said, we need to find friends that know people in back alley so we can just, like, go watch and then just, like, jump in. Shit, but what did they pull a gun? Oh, yeah, you're right. Now, nowadays, Never mind. nowadays, they just take pa, it pa, out. Pa. That's it. Yeah, I, I saw this one picture of this, uh, like, really jack guy. And the guy was like, oh, he worked out all his life just to get shot. And I was like, yeah, you know, that's, like, kind of true. Like, no matter how strong you are, a bullet's a bullet. Yeah. Anyways, I, uh, I want to get my – I had my gun – I didn't have my gun safety. But I worked at a golf course, and the guy – Are you looking at the mushroom tip? Yeah. <laughs> it uh so it, there's two options with the microphones. The option that's on now is where it only comes out of the front 
if I only had one microphone and wanted to do this, there's a different option, and then it would come out of um, both ways. Hey, but you have a nice setup, though. Thank you. You really do. It's a. Uh, it's been pieced together, piece by. It, I don't. I have those lights, like they work, but I just don't use them because I have these overhead ones. Uh, TVs broke, tables. You know. But thank he, you. But here's the thing. When'd you move in, though? Like three months ago. You have a lot of stuff for just three months. You, thank you. You're doing pretty good. Really I appreciate are. that. You really are. This is uh, episode 13. For real? What's your favorite number? 27. Fuck. Well, you can come back on 27. Back. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I'm trying to get a couple episodes with, like, multiple. Because I've had people come on, right? And then they'd be like, oh, well, what about so-and-so? And I was like, well, just come on together. And, uh-huh. like, I imagine, like, it's going to be fun when I get, like, six of my friends, you know, mm-hmm. just all hooting, drinking, hollering. It's going to be a lot of fun. Ooh, we should we should drink. Yes. Episodes. Of course. Oh, but I like wine. You like wine? I like wine. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. What kind of wine do you like, sir? What was it? It's called, like, rosé. Oh, rose. you like the rosé. Rosé one. Yeah. It's kind of gay, but I like what I like. Rosé is gay? I don't know. People don't like... People say Fuck that. Fuck those people. People say that. If it gets you drunk, it gets you drunk. Hey, and if it makes me feel pretty, I feel bonita. <laughs> do you feel bonita? I feel bonita. <laughs> I, uh, that's it. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. Why? Mm-hmm. You, so you're not good... At, you don't like shots or beer? No, I take shots. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm more of a liquor uh-huh. and wine, but beer... Yeah, it ain't for me. It's, the, I, uh, it's, it's just the taste, man. I, I never liked beer. I, it, I don't like it because of the taste. I say that, and I had a I had a beer before you got here. Oh, for real? It was just left over. What yeah. was it? It was a Miller Lite. What it. sucks is that I shot an episode on Sunday. Okay. I actually have wine in my car. Are you serious? Yes. You want to go get it? Bet. I mean, you gotta drive back. We we, we can. I, I've dri- I've driven way more drunk. Than well, that. The, the, uh, Jesus, that's not good. It, but it's it's been a. I only do it like at night times. How right? about? Okay, how about this? How about we do it next time? And then I we j- get some liquor too. Yeah. But. And like not half asses. Let's go for it. All right, but. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll fucking. Do I that. mean, it's kind of fucked up me saying that I drive. You know. Drink and drive. But here's the thing. If everybody's honest with their self, they've at least done it once. Yeah. They've at least done it yeah. once. Mm-hmm. So That is true. Not saying I'm not condoning it. It's not good. It's not good, but I I um I have done it before. I made the commitment not to do it. Mm-hmm. Um I haven't drank in a while though. Yeah. The only, the only times that I've drank is either at home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, at home. That's it. I usually drink only at home too, because if you go out to the bar, it's too fucking expensive. It's like, too expensive. And you I can buy a bottle. I see it like on the whatever the menu, mm-hmm. and I see the number next to it, and all I can think of is how many I can buy at the gas station for that price. Does that like that's all yeah. that goes through my head? You're like, mm, I mean, I can save up yeah. a lot if I just go over there. Yeah, like two what beers are what probably eight dollars for a. I had a concert, probably eight bucks. Eight, yeah, twelve, and f- that's one can. Yeah, I can get a twelve pack for probably ten dollars, depending $10. on what I'm getting. Depending where you're getting. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I've never, I've never been too much of a drinker. Now here's the thing, in my older age, uh, <laughs> I fucking love a cold beer, dude, on a hot day, for an really? ice cold beer. Because it's so cold to where you can't taste it. Now, does that make sense? Yes, yes. yes That's what I like. Because I, I have tasted some beers. Uh, the the one that I tasted it was Heineken. Uh huh. Heineken. Yeah. I had a really cold beer, and it was when I used to work at the distribution center. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, what's constipated me? Oh, you fucker! It <laughs> <laughs> means that you can't shit. That, you know. the, the, the vlog the yeah. vlog that you're fucking yeah. you know fuck yeah you know it's full circle bro full i'm gonna fucking throw that up right now he's gonna say it constantly because i remember it bro, took me so long stuttering. to edit that i was stuttering yeah i was stuttering a lot that's fine oh god constipated i mean 
What was that? What was that saying? Can't oh, can't it. Can't can't something like that. Yeah, yeah I, I edited the. Have you seen the meme with the smiley face? But it's a mask, and the guy's like crying behind. Yeah, yeah. I edited that over your face. And with the with the weed. Yeah, with the weed thing. And uh, it took me so long because I was on an old computer. Anyway, side note. Back to beer. What were you saying? Heineken. Oh yeah. You like Heineken? No. Or Col- you don't like Heineken? Mm-mm. Okay. I mean, I don't really don't like beers at all. Okay. So it was just there because uh, we threw a party, uh-huh. and I mean, it was it was in the fridge. So it was one day when I came from working, mm-hmm. and I used to work at the distribution center at Walmart. Oh in, yeah. Inside the trailers, uh, so where the freight comes in, and we have to build a wall and fill it up all with freight. So and then we mm-hmm. ship it out, mm-hmm. and then once we get another one, they bring a trailer from the outside. Mm-hmm inside and you have to open that bitch up pull in the um, the machine in mm-hmm. and all the freight starts coming down yeah so that was hell man yeah. i used to do it for 12 hours but the only, the only thing i didn't like about it is the the 12 hours mm-hmm. <clears throat> other than that i only worked for three days and i and i got a good paycheck so yeah did they did you get a break like a lunch break two two, two. breaks but okay. 20 minute breaks yeah yeah, I uh, I I haven't heard anything like amazing about the distribution the distribution center ever. Like, don't get me wrong, the the pay is good. That's what they say. The pay is really good, mm-hmm. but the only thing is the the long hours. Yeah, and plus being inside the trailers mm-hmm. for me, the only hard part was the heat. Yeah, you had to when it was summertime, you open the trailer up. Mm-hmm. And all because it was sitting outside inside the tra- uh, outside in the yard with all oh the sun. God. Once you came in and once you opened it up, uh-huh. all the air that was inside trap comes out. Hot air. It, it just hits you. Ugh. And inside the trailer, we had a big fan, uh-huh. but <clears throat> on, on the outside, and that fan usually didn't reach us all the way down there. Once we opened a new trailer up, yeah. And they took those big fans mm-hmm. that they had. And they put uh, a little ass fan inside uh, where we we put in the converter. Mm-hmm. Com- I don't know what it's called, the converter. Yeah. Uh, we pulled it inside. And it was just like a small one, and it didn't even help at all. Yeah. The big ones helped more than the little ones. And, and they, they took the they added on the little ones, or they took the big ones. They took in the big all- ones off. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Probably save money. Yeah, I uh, the people always say the pay was good, but it, everything else was. Terrible. I've heard the drama there is even bad. There's no drama. Oh, really? Mm-mm. Wow. No drama. Maybe it's just the certain people I've talked to. It's, if I'm being honest, where where I was at, it was mostly men. Mm-hmm. So we usually just got along with each other. Yeah. And the only the only times that I've heard something is uh, on the other side, and that's is where usually women are are mm-hmm. at. And you know some men, some men are there. Yeah. But. <clears throat> There's a lot more uh, trouble over there. Yeah, we al- we always heard on the uh, intercom saying like, oh, uh, they're asking for this person every single time, mm-hmm. or something happened over there, mm. and or rumors go on. Yeah, saying that hey, this girl, you know, is going mm-hmm. around there, and then or if not, this dude is doing this, mm-hmm. selling drugs or stealing. Oh shit! Yeah. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Some people did coke. Wow. Mm-hmm. During shift, probably, yeah, During just so shift, get yeah. through. Yeah. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, so people did coke. Do you have to go through metal detectors and shit when you clock in, or is it you just kind of... So, uh, they give us a badge, so we have to go... Where, what they tell us is wherever you're at, uh-huh. or wherever your your workstation's at, you have to clock in in that, uh, in that area. Oh, okay. So you can't clock in in the front or anything like that, mm-hmm. unless you're around it. Mm-hmm. So for us, the entrance was right here, and mm-hmm. we had to walk like all the way to the back to the left side, and it usually took us like seven minutes walking, mm-hmm. seven minutes walking to all the way over there. Yeah. Across the whole building? Mm-hmm. So across you had to kind of get there a lot earlier just to get across the fucking... Pretty much, and you had to get there early. And uh, I had to wake up. My shift was from five to five, Ugh. so I had to wake up at three fifty. Because uh-huh. I don't wake up. Just even saying that really is fucking a up. crime. Like mm-hmm. that's terrible. And Ugh. it was. 
I mean, it was worth it because for me it was like, all right, I go in one day and then I don't consider that day anymore. Uh huh. I I only consider the next two days. I'm like, oh, two more to go. Yeah. And then the second rolls in, I'm like, ah, Friday. Yeah. To me, it's like, oh, Friday. Uh huh. But, and then the next day comes, I'm like, oh, fuck it. Yeah. Then it's done. But some days, <clears throat> when we are uh, backed up, or uh, you know what happened on the ice uh-huh. that, that one time, like a, a couple years back, yeah, that the tr- the trucks couldn't come in or anything like that. Uh huh. So once the the ice, you know, died out, all the trucks swarmed in. Oh fuck! So you were slammed. We were slammed. Oh my god! And they made it mandatory for our shift. Which we only worked three days. Uh-huh. They made it mandatory to we to we work like four or five days, twelve hour shifts. But how was that? Over- Did they give you overtime pay? Oh yeah. Oh. The overtime fuck. pay was good. Yeah. The, don't don't get me wrong. The overtime pay was good. Yeah. Because I usually got like I don't know probably like six grand, um, in a month. Jesus if, Christ. If 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 I did go to overtime. Yeah. If I did. Uh huh. Uh, that was only when it was mandatory, and I was like, "Oh, that was, that's pretty good money." Uh-huh. But at the same time, you're like, "I'm not trying to deal with it anymore. Yeah. I'm not trying to work another twelve hours." So. Yeah, dude. And then once you get off, you only have like two days of rest. Uh huh. And then you're like, oh, "I have to start over again." Yeah. So, to me, I don't like. Yeah, I don't like the routine. Uh huh. To me. The uh, I did twelve hour shifts. I worked at Amazon Fresh. Mm-hmm. So. Like they had the the dry, the refrigerated, and then the deep freeze. Mm-hmm. Or actually, they had two freezers. And man, let me tell you something. It was six to six, so six P to six A, mm-hmm. and it was four days, twelve hours, and then you're off for three days. But mm-hmm. like the, you never, you never really got time to rest because. On night shift, so I'd be going to sleep as the, as the sun was coming up. So you have to get, like, blackout curtains. Mm-hmm. You have to get, you like, retrain your body to... Because as you're get driving used, home and you see it. the sun come up, you're a you're a animal. Like, you're a human at the end of the day. Like, that tells your brain to start coming on, you know? And you have to fight against that. So you feel like a zombie vampire. Mm-hmm. And, like... Have you ever felt like... Ugh, like you want to go to, for example, once you get a, uh, you, you work your night shift and you want to get something, uh, a meal. Mm-hmm. Don't you feel kind of embarrassed that you're like, ah, oh, damn, I'm gonna be looking like a fat ass. Yeah. And like they're gonna be thinking like, why is this dude ordering at this time? Mm-hmm. But I'm like, eh, fuck it. Yeah. Well, mine, I whenever I would leave early, it'd be like. At two in the morning, I'd be like, "Yeah, I can't stop and get food because like, what the fuck? Like, I'm dressed to buy Amazon stuff." So. Uh, but oh, like at Amazon? six, yeah. Oh. The Amazon Probably. Fresh. Oh, Amazon Fresh. Yeah. Oh. Remember, I said they had the freezers. I blacked out. Oh, you're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I zoned out. It's, uh, I honestly, out. <laughs> while I was there, I was zoned out. I know it's kind of boring. Uh, but yeah, it uh, it was terrible. And actually, I got COVID. While working uh-huh. there, and or I had, I had a girlfriend at the time and she had it. We were just like all up on each other, and I knew I was gonna get it. Oh. Yeah, so I like kind of already planned on having two weeks of free pay okay. from Amazon, and um, so I started feeling like shit, but I didn't know what it was because it was like it was like two days after she had got it, mm-hmm. and I was like, it can't be happening that fast. And so, on their freezer, they have, like, scanners where they check everybody's temperature to make sure they're not getting too cold. Mm -hmm. Because it's, like, negative 33 degrees. And they came and got me, and they were like, Mr. McMillan, like, you need to sit down and de-thaw. And then we'll check your temperature again, because you're running hot in the deep freeze. And I was like, no fucking way. Like, how did y'all... Like, they scanned my temperature, Mm -hmm. knew that I was a little bit too hot, you know, and then came... And they uh, took my temperature again, and they were like, you have to go home. So then Damn. COVID for two weeks. But I got over it in two days. Bro. I lost my taste. That was weird. But my girl, she was puking her head off, like I never hugging had it. the toilet. It was terrible. I never had it. You never got it? Mm-mm. I mean, there were some people who literally died, and then there were some people who it didn't affect at all. So I think there was, I think there was fucking 
a lot of shit going on, or at least going around. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I never got it. Like, how was that? What? How was your lockdown? How, what happened? Like, did you do it? Like, were you isolated and was life fucking terrible? Or like, Mm-mm. I loved kinda, it because I yeah. always got out and uh, like I usually went on walks. Uh huh. I usually went on walks with uh, the person I used to talk to. Mm-hmm. Um, we usually go into hiking. Uh, sometimes I went out with, you know, Dustin. Yeah. But other than that, you late? Yeah. yeah. You serious? When? Yeah. When'd you start? Well, since I was a vape store manager. When? When was this? I'll, I'll have to catch you up. Damn. But recently. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why the building's green. Oh, and this, is, this was a vape shop? Yeah. Oh, you serious? It was. Oh. I'll tell you off. Yeah. Oh, and it's gold. You want it? That's my favorite color. Color, yeah. I'll take a hit. Oh hell yeah. It's pineapple. Cake. Interesting. Ooze. Yeah, I had I had the same one. Oh, it's not called a dub. You don't gotta suck on it. Hell yeah. Anyways, um. No free advertising. Yeah, no free ad. Uh. Anyways, so uh, distribution center—that's where you did work. Well, here it'll, uh, it'll actually focus in on that. So if you want to put it, put it like over here, so it won't focus in, because it'll start to flutter. But you can just hold it, yeah, whatever you want. Um, so the okay, so we've been talking about the distribution center, but what are you doing now? That was like a couple years ago. Uh, I recently started working. I uh, moved back to the super center. Uh huh. So I'm usually getting, uh, I got like a a dollar twenty five deducted. Uh huh. But other than that, uh, I'm working five days. Yeah. Night shift, eight hours. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm still getting a good pay. Yeah. I really don't do anything. Uh huh. So I just work what I had to work. Yeah. Once I'm done, I can just be on my phone. Mm-hmm. So other than that. Yeah. Just chilling. Just chilling. <sighs> well, are you um? So you're trying to grow in that, or are you just kind of just chilling for right now, looking at other things? Like, what what do you got going on? I really don't got nothing going on. What's your I'm dreams? Doing. What's your passions? Hmm. What I want to do is either be an electrician mm-hmm. or HVAC. Okay. Yeah. And there's always money in that. There's yeah. HVAC, there's a lot of money. Yeah. Because AC. Everybody uh-huh. needs AC. Everybody needs AC. Everybody wants to be either cold or hot. Exactly. So. Nobody's uh, content with either or. mm um, so that's that's a lot of money going in, but mm-hmm. uh, at the moment, uh, I'm kind of having some financial issues. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I'm 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 getting to it. Yeah, I'm getting over it. So it's just gonna take a little bit of time. Once I'm done with that, save up a little bit of money mm-hmm. and try to see what works best for me. Yeah. So I'll probably start maybe once I get the time, uh, start training uh, in HVAC. Yeah. Or take programs for it. Yeah. Well, here, if it makes you feel better, everybody that comes in here, like, at some point on an episode, we talk about how everybody's fucking hurting right now. So, like, it's a uh, part of, like, everybody. Are, are you single? I am single, yes. You are single? I am. Oh. Have been. For... Can I take you on a date? What? Huh? You want to take me on a date? I didn't say that. Oh, shit. You're going to swoop? I'm seduced. You seduced? <laughs> I seduced you? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I have been for a year and a half, pretty much. A year and a half? Yes. Damn. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, it's part of, like, I think everybody's kind of hurt right now, but I think everybody's going to come back, at, at least the economy. Car price, used car prices are coming back down, thank God. Oh, I heard deflation has come down. It's Inflation or deflation? Deflation. Okay, good. So I don't know when. Uh huh. I just saw it on TikTok. I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah. So if it's on TikTok, it has to be true. Uh, I don't know. Right? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, I mean, uh, no. Don't believe Biden, what you I mean, see on TikTok. I mean, Biden says otherwise. Yeah. Biden says otherwise. That is true. I feel bad. Do you like Biden? I I feel. Here's the thing. Just take all the politics away from it. If that was my grandpa. And he was constantly falling on camera. I'd be pissed off. Like, don't do that to my grandpa. You know what I'm Terrible. saying? Um, but, yeah, dude. I think the HVAC, all that stuff. Like, this summer, the hottest summer. For the first time ever on a car, I saw 118. And I was driving with the AC on. Like, I had been in the car. Damn. 
it was a burner. Um, how, how how hot is it? How hot does it get here in Carrollton? <sighs> what sucks about it is that there's like smog. Like it's gross. Like smog. Yeah, like like uh, like a haze. Like the every every day I wake up. There's an air quality alert from the weather. Fucking ah, like okay. just it's bad air quality. It's uh-huh. fucking nasty. Like on the way home, you just look. It's brown, kind of hazy. Being up, you know, in Sanger and all that, you don't have that as much. Um, but you, usually you just get so hot. There's no wind. It's just a lot of concrete. A lot of buildings. So like a lot of buildings nearby. One fifteen every day. Boom, boom, boom. It's like the grass outside is cracking. The cracking. The dirt is like all split. It's just terrible. Um, anyways, I've been trying to water. <laughs> I've had on the sprinklers lately. You got sprinklers? Oh, I, it's like I set the hose up facing this way. I run it for like 10 minutes uh-huh. at dawn and then like whatever. Anyways, um. Do you have a backyard? I do have a backyard. That's where they run around, play and have fun. It's a really nice Poop, place. Poop, use the bathroom. If I'm being honest, I really like this. Thank you. It's really, it's really nice. I'm hoping I can extend the lease, um. I'm hoping. I'm talking with the landlord. Landlord, if you see this, please. Yes. Uh, so, did you uh, do you believe in aliens? Yes and no. Okay. So, recently, uh-huh. so recently, my little brother showed me a video. Uh, uh, it was in Sanger. Uh huh. Oh so, shit. Yeah. So my little brother showed me. Uh, he just mentioned to me because uh, I went over there to visit. Mm-hmm. Since I don't live with my parents anymore. I live in Denton. Mm-hmm. Um, I went over there to visit one time, and my brother just came up to me one day, and he was like, hey, uh, we saw a, a UFO. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? Mm-hmm. Like, nah. Yeah. And I know he plays jokes on me and, wh- and, and whatever. And, I, and so I didn't believe him. And he was like, no, yeah, I have a video. Uh-huh. So he showed me the video, and I was like, damn. Like, it was like like this and then okay. it just went like this uh-huh. going and then it just disappeared Gone. it was at night too oh shit yeah it just like completely disappeared it just like went away and then it just slowly dis- disappeared and that's it uh-huh it didn't go like you know how some people just see it and then it just goes like zoom like it, warp speed yeah. like vroom. yeah this uh what, what they saw is that it just kept on advancing and then it just completely like just disappeared gone. like an invisibility mm-hmm. cloak thing you, you saw other thing in mexico that they showed the aliens yeah dude mm-hmm. that's trippy do you believe it part of me says yes but a part of me says no as a person who believes in aliens i don't no i don't i think it, it, it looks like et e- yeah and like they're i don't know they just look too, yeah. They look too, they, like, they don't look made. too real. Yeah. yeah. They look man-made. So, but who knows? Maybe maybe it is. Maybe that's what they look like. Maybe, maybe. we're just, maybe we're so maybe desensitized. We just don't want, maybe we just don't want to believe it. Yeah. Because you know how some people are scared of the unknown? Uh-huh. A lot of people are scared of the unknown. Yeah. So once the unknown is made true. Is known. Now, you know, yeah. what we think and what we used to think. Mm-hmm. Now you're like, what the fuck? Like, should I believe this? Should I not? Yeah. And then you're like going back and forth. And then, <clears throat> you know, faith. Mm-hmm. Faith comes into play. Yeah. If you, ha- if you have, you know, if you believe in it. Mm-hmm. But other than that, you know. I mean, I, I think, I don't think, because there's always the worry that like people would freak out and houses would burn and mm-hmm. kind of, society would collapse. Like, I'm sure if you told me Donald Trump was an alien, people would freak the fuck out. But if you told me that there were other things out there, I've already kind of came to that conclusion in my head. Like, because I love space, first Mm -hmm. and foremost, right? So just knowing the infinite vast of shit out there, if there wasn't anything out there and it was just us, like, that's the flip side that everybody says, right? Like, okay, if there's not anything out there and it's just us, isn't that just as scary? Like, nothing shares a consciousness, nothing... Now... Like, it's now, just us. Now, do you believe that, you know, since they... Uh, you know how the United States came out that, you know, we didn't really go to the moon, or you know that... Uh-huh. That we did or we didn't go? Uh-huh. Now, do you think, did we actually, actually leave? I think that we Earth? left. I think we've left Earth, for sure. 
I don't know if we landed on the moon. Me and my friend Peyton, uh, podcast number seven, uh, talked about aliens and all that stuff. He doesn't believe it. After talking to him, I don't necessarily believe it either. Bro. And because after that episode, I kind of just dived into now. Part of me is a person who wants to believe right. that we didn't, right? So maybe I'm reading into it too much. Okay, n- n- I'm gonna flip the uh, I'm gonna flip the script now. Uh-huh. Supernatural. Okay. Now, like werewolves, vampires, yeah, gnomes, fairies. Okay. Do you believe in that? Wow, interesting question. Uh. You know how uh, in in some <sighs> states they have like you know the Mothman uh-huh. or uh, the Chupacabra in, in yeah. Mexico. And some other states, they might have other things. Like cryptids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's that thing? Loch Ness Monster? Loch Ness Monster. Yeah. The, um, what's that thing that is in the desert and then uh, that if you hear them, like, it's like a Skinwalkers? Animal? Skinwalkers. Yeah. yeah. So that, do you believe in that Fuck. now? Yeah. Here, okay. So fairies, no. Uh, Sasquatch, yes. Bigfoot? Yeah. Bigfoot. So here's the thing. I don't think it's a, it's a humanoid. I think it's... There's these animals called Gigantopithecus, and they're ancient apes. They're from the orangutan orangutan line, and they were, like, eight feet tall and stood up. Now, like, that's more of a plausible explanation. Like, the, oh, okay. there's a select I, I, group of these I, things I lost in the about. woods. Yeah, I yeah. What you're talking about. Uh, but not like a man or, like, a human, like, lost human species thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Loch Ness Monster, I don't know. Like, it's... The Loch Ness Lake is super deep. I think mm. there could be something, but... What about ghosts now? I do believe in the supernatural. Supernatural? Yeah. I feel... And here's the thing. Here's a hot take. I feel like drugs blur the line between the supernatural and natural world, and that's why they're illegal. Now, that could be a hippy-dippy thing. But, like, here's the thing. True. You know, maybe there could be a connection there, and there could be information that could be... Uh, interdimensional that the government doesn't want you to know. As well as the... There's some uh, shit right there. You know how some people are in tune with nature uh-huh. and they know when a natural disaster is going to happen? Whoa. You like they seen, can feel the... you never seen that? Like, uh-uh. like a, a, for, uh, a fortune teller or something like oh, that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You like know, a psychic? You know, yeah, psychic yeah. or something like that. But this is like nature-wise okay. or like in tune with the earth. Uh-huh. I don't know. Like... I, don't know, I, mean, I, going, I don't know where I was going with this. My mind kind of blanked out. Some again. people, some of those people just did too much LSD and DMT. You know, like some of them are on drugs. Some of them might be tapped into something. That's True. the thing is that like we know like what's the percentage that all psychics are fake? It, we know it's not 0%, mm-hmm. right? Like there's a percentage of them that are fake. But on the flip side, there's a percentage that are real. And it's like just finding... And you don't know which one is real or right. not. So, so. that's kind of like trips you out. But it's yeah. a lot. It's a lot. It's, it's it is a lot, lot to, think to think about. about. Like, here's the thing. The people, the psychics in like Branson, Missouri, that's a tourist town. Like, no, you, uh, you don't see the future, right? But like, if this is a lady, there's been whispers around her in the town for like 30 years. She lives out by herself. In a vineyard, mm-hmm. right? Are you there with me? We're we're going to this vineyard. Okay. She's old lady, salt like grayish hair. Okay. She wears like um, a dress, very thick dress, colorful dress, mm-hmm. and she has a waist pocket where she keeps her berries that she picks. Okay. And she's like picking berries as you roll up, and she's like, "Who do you want?" Pulls out a shotgun. Now she's looking at you with a shotgun. Do you believe that lady more than the lady in the tourist town? Damn. Uh, right? Damn. I would. And the lady out in the woods could just be as crazy as the lady in town. True. But just given the environment, I would trust the lady in the woods more than the lady in Branson, Missouri. Okay. Because they're, you know how in, in movies they're like, some people are outside the city, mm-hmm. and they don't want to get in the city mm-hmm. because it's kind of corrupt or manipulation going on or yeah. something like that. Right. Oh, look, look at this man. So famous. 
Phone has not stopped ringing. No, it hasn't. He's been blowing up. It's all these ladies. The only thing I've had is free stuff. Uh huh. Finder, which is coupons and stuff like that. Feet finder? No, free stuff. (laughs) Free stuff finder. Free feet. Free feet finder? Yes. And then Apple Cash, which Mm. my mom must send me 30 bucks. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Shout out, mom. Thank you. Um, I do want to say, dude, you're looking slimmer. You're looking like for the last time, because what's it been, two years since I've seen you? Years Maybe ago. longer than that. Taller yeah. too. No. Yeah, a little bit. You serious? Yeah. I don't feel like it, bro. Since like the I'm last time the I saw you, you've grown for sure. For real? Yes. Nah, I'm pretty sure just the posture. I have bad posture. Maybe. I have bad posture. We'll go watch those videos. Oh. The vlogs. Oh, when you did me dirty. Yeah. You did me dirty. You did me dirty yeah. a lot with the with the fight. Oh when my like, god! Oh, yeah, <laughs> you did me. Hell. I I I dodged that shit. Yeah, but you, you made did. It, but you made it look like I didn't. Yeah, if you if you watch it, you can clearly see. Yeah, you dodged it, but Man, it was, I was like dodging clickbait. them though. You were because you y'all were, were throwing body shots. I was like, guys, let's do this. Mm-hmm. And then y'all started going. I was like, and then what we started. The fuck? And then we went. We we talked about it. And we were like, hey, should we just go all out? Yeah. And then we went all out. But I, I think I don't think you never posted that. Like when we went uh, full out. Oh, the full final out. one? Yeah, the full out. When we went, like. No, I don't think I did. Like, hey, y'all started and, going, and, going, hey, man. And, and, I, and I think you, me and you, uh, took a video of us. Me and you? Yeah, and then you, uh, Dustin as well. I don't think I ever fought Dustin. Yeah, you did. I did? Yeah. Maybe I got hit in the head too much. That's why I can't remember. Probably. Y'all just cleaned me up. No. <laughs> no. Uh, Man, you were taller, way taller than us back then. Yeah, I had the reach. We, we had we had we had to go all the way up. Yeah. You talk. You're talking about a Mexican that was back in the day when I was fucking short. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think um, was it summertime? I feel like it was summertime, or at least going into summertime when summertime we're, we're all hanging out. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was, I mean, because that was 2019. That was before I, a lot of stuff changed in my life, you know. You were slim. Like, yeah. Man, you were fit. Yeah. But now you look sexy. Dude. Thank you. I'm trying to actually slim currently. You serious? I'm trying to get back to what I was looking like. You bulking? No, I'm no? absolutely not. I'm trying to slim. You serious? Yes, dude. I, I lost but 35 pounds. You got, you got pounds. a dad bod, though. Thanks. Everybody likes dad dog. Dad dog. Dad, dad dog. Dad. Dad dog. Dad, dad dog. Dad bods. <laughs> Everybody likes dad bods. That is true. But I don't. No? Not me. Shit, I'm trying I to I don't like looking weight, at man. the dad bod in the mirror. I'm trying to I'm trying to gain weight. Yeah? Yeah. I weigh 160 right now. <sighs> you gotta drink some protein, eat, eat at a surplus. I used to but when, when last time you saw me, I was one eighty. Uh-huh. Now at one sixty, I lost twenty pounds. I told you slim. Mm-mm. Slimmed up? Hell no. Nah. I went through a, I went through a lot of shit, man. Oh. Hell yeah. Well, uh, do you like honey? Like the taste of honey? Yeah. Because I started putting, whenever I wanted to bulk or have a little bit of extra energy, I used to put a little squeeze of some whipped honey in my protein shake. Oh, my God. Make With some warm milk. Oh, my God, dude. Vanilla protein. It was so good. And I put on weight. Damn. Um, but, yeah, no, I've been. I'll probably try that out. I've been fasting. So I only eat from like noon to eight o'clock at night, and then I don't eat the rest of the day. Only drink water. That that was my big thing. Big thing. Sodas. Sodas. I was just drinking my calories all day long. A large Dr Pepper from McDonald's. That's one thing. I haven't been back to the evil Golden Arches mm-hmm. in like three months. Mm-hmm. I'll stop it. Actually, let me take that back. I went like a month ago, and I was like, ugh, like why did I order this food? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like I, I'm I'm all like, not, I, I'm not presentable to you. What do you what What do you mean? I'm not presentable to the, you. Man. Whoa, whoa, what do you mean by that? I gotta look sexy for you, man. Dude, you look good. You look no. You got you, you told me that you you got the Bass Pro Shops for me, right? You I'll, put on that Bass Pro Shop for me. I thought this was good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I but did I, change. I feel like I look all bummed. Like, th- bro, this is how I went to work. That's fine. And I slept in this. I haven't showered. I haven't worn this in three weeks because I didn't think I looked good in it. And then I washed it, and it's just been sitting up there. And I was like, well, I'm going to – I'll just throw it on today. And Is that all your shirts? Yeah. I got some more laundry in there I got to do. But oh, I was about to say, you got to go to the thrift store. For right, for right now, yeah. No, Play-Doh's Closet, that's my shit. And Goodwill. Never been there. The, no, I have. I, 
lie. I have. If you go to, here's the thing. Don't go to like a thrift store in a, this is going to sound bad, but like in a poorer part of town. Mm-hmm. Go to a thrift store in a rich part of town because all the rich people, that's where they take their clothes. So I went to a Plato's Closet in Flower Mound slash Highland Village, you know, over there, up 35 on the left a little bit, the ritzy part. Okay. Fucking polos, Nike shirts, a bunch of golf stuff, golf Mm -hmm. shoes. I'm like, this is where I need to go, not Plato's Closet over in fucking hit the 360. You're the first person to do that, I think. Really? Or the 720 now. Is that a painting? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Some guy came by and was like, "Hey, I've been watching your podcast when the store was open. Mm-hmm. I made this. Could you put it in your podcast?" I said, "Yeah." So that's it. He made that. Grab it, if you don't mind. It's like plexiglass. Oh, you have PS4. I do. How do you play? I don't. I haven't played it a while because the TV's broke. But yeah, shout out to the guy who made me this. I don't. He said, "Do you watch anime?" I said, "I said no." You don't watch anime? I don't. Damn. I watch Avatar The Last Airbender. Mm. Uh, but, yes. Really appreciate this. It's got dust on it. It's been sitting over there for a while. Well, I haven't been seeing any anime. I've just been reading mangas. Uh-huh. I just read. Manga? Manga. 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 I've been saying that wrong. It, well, here's I the thing. I like it. Manga. Manga? Manga. Is there anything you would recommend? What do you like? Do you like suspense or... I like adventure. adventure. A little bit of suspense. A little bit of crime, maybe. Hmm. Do you want... Okay, you have A little Netflix? bit of mystery. I did. Can you watch on your phone? Yeah. Okay. There's one called Ajin. Okay. That one is <coughs> basically... Um, so it's pretty much about when... It's a... Whenever you die, you pretty much... And you revive yourself. Uh huh. You're pretty much wanted by the government because. Uh, That's cool. Yeah. So this this kid uh, is wanted by the government because he he has some special power. Which there's I don't know how to explain it. It's, I'm just saying it's like a demon. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty much like a black stuff that pretty much gets out of his body. And pretty much morphs into uh, his uh, into a figure. Okay. Has claws and everything like that. Ooh, wow. And pretty much he's trying to get away from the government because he's not trying to die. Because if he gets caught, he's going to get experimented on. Oh, shit. And uh, they're going to kill him every single time. And he can't die. Uh-huh. And so it got to one point where he met an old dude. Mm-hmm. And this old dude is badass. Mm-hmm means he's the villain and but I, i'm just gonna leave it like that yeah i don't wanna i, I don't, wanna, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna spoil it. i was like i'll get into it don't mm-hmm. spoil it because that sounds cool yeah it gets you really into it the first episode you're gonna be like okay it gives you a lot of it gives you pretty much all the information on, on the first episode uh-huh. as to why they're they don't want uh, as, as to why whenever you die mm-hmm. And you revive yourself. Mm-hmm. They don't want you to find out, or other people finding out, because now you know you get experimented on, and you you know keep on dying and dying. Wow! And you can't die. Interesting concept. I'm pr- I- I'm explaining it really bad. Uh huh. But I'm sure you're doing fine. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm. Here's the thing. Is it like super fast pace? Fast pace. It's fast paced, but at the same time, it gives you a lot of information. Okay. And it, and it's and it's a good uh, storytelling. Mm-hmm. So it, they don't miss out a lot. It's pretty much a lot of action packed. It's a lot of blood and gore. Okay. And you can pretty much uh, see as to why the kid acts the way he acts. Uh uh-huh. And as well as to uh, it pretty much goes in depth, not too much in depth. Mm-hmm. But it's pretty good, though. And yeah, that another sounds one, fun. I, I, have you ever seen 100 Times Hunter? Uh-uh. Watch that one. That's okay. a pretty good one. Hunter so, Times Hunter? Hunter x Hunter. Okay. It's on Netflix as well. Okay. So those two. And if you want to see uh, a mind, like, you know, playing like a super intellectual guy, you know, tries to free his... Uh, his people mm-hmm. it's called code Geass. okay so it's pretty much a prince 
that is trying to overtake the government because they treat a specific time of people called uh-huh. elevens uh-huh. really bad. Okay. And they they're run out of the city. Uh-huh. So if you see them, you can mistreat them, do whatever you want with them, and they won't do nothing about it. Wow. Yeah. And so. Do they look different? Like, mm-hmm. they just, do they have like just a different district? On them? Just uh, it's it's in Japan, but the district is split. Oh, okay. So and that district, uh, it's the whole world is run by one, uh, by one person. Uh huh. And that and. The, the kid that's trying to overtake is uh, the dad. Okay. But the person, the dad has a special power, which, uh, let me see what it is. Oh, uh, the kid has to where if he looks you in the eye, uh-huh. he, t- he, he can tell you what to do. And he okay. pretty much, uh, he pretty much mind control. Okay. So... And I'm he, really, bad, kid, ex- I'm really kid, bad explaining it. Yeah. Oh, you're fine. His kid has this power? Yes. And his dad has as well the power. Oh, so his dad has it too. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Because I was gonna say that'd be cool if and his kid and, had and, it. And, and, there's, like, and there's more other people that have the power. Oh, as well. Okay. So he's pretty much against a lot of forces. Uh huh. But his dad is the main villain. Okay. So he's just trying to overtake him, and pretty much free the whole country. Okay. So in the end, it has a big twist. Uh huh. So you will get sad. Oh shit! So you will get sad. Okay, but I'm looking same, forward to it. But at the same time, it's really, it's really, it's really good. Uh huh. It really goes in depth and like it gets you caught into it. You're, you're gonna w- want to watch it over and over again. You're gonna be like, oh, I want to watch it again. I'm interested. I've never. I mean, I've watched a little bit of One Punch Man. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm not. S- I'm sorry, but I have oh. to go. Oh, you have to. Yes. Oh, you're good. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, do you have your socials? It, what, your Instagram, your anything you want to up? I don't have nothing. Okay. I only have a number. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, and Instagram, but uh, on that, I only got four four people. That's fine. Only you. Uh huh. Somebody from work. Somebody else. Uh huh. And that's it. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, I uh, appreciate you coming on, brother. Thank you for making the drive. Hey, I'll come by next time, though. Yeah, dude, you can have come back anytime. I mean, if you're free tomorrow, I can come by tomorrow. I'll, uh, tomorrow, I might have to go to a wedding. I don't know yet. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm making the decision tonight. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll, uh, you can come back anytime. But thank you, brother. Thank you. Make sure to check out these other clips from the latest episode. And to make sure you don't miss a new video, make sure to subscribe to the channel.